Bilali Muhammad from Futa Jalon was captured as a teenager and sold into the middle passage of the transatlantic slave trade. He was born in the same year as Omar ibn Said at opposite ends of the Senegal River, and they would both become enslaved in two states with common borders, South Carolina and Georgia. It was the War 1812. I was 42 years old and headmaster on a plantation of 500 African saltwater slaves. None of my people were abused nor whipped. They called me Al Mammy. The English had set up a blockade of ships all along the east coast of America, even where we was, Sapelo Island, Georgia. The English promised freedom to any slave who would join them and fight against America. My family knows about the English under slavery. Hm. We knows them to be some hypocrites. Here come Master Tom hollering that him and the missa, they're going to hide our children on the mainland from the English. I say, Master Tom, I got 80 African Muslims, and we ready to defend and die for our homes here on this plantation. Master Tom goes and gets us 80 French muskets. When the English hear about us Africans with muskets on Sapapo Island, they just keep on sailing right on by. When the war was over, Master Tom came back and got his muskets. This was the only documented time in American history that a slave master gives weapons to his slaves. These are some of the many forgotten roots and lost legacies that deserve to be told. The last Africans, the life and times of Omar ibn Said, a society where religion, culture, and race are not barriers to equality.